Hello guys, this is Stefan from Apprentice IT and today I'm going to show you how to install and configure the DHCP role in Windows Server 2019. Now for this lab I am using two virtual machines. The first one is a Windows Server 2019, the Enterprise Edition, actually the Data Center Evaluation Edition. And for the second one is uh, Windows 10, fresh installation which we will test and see if the IP is uh, automatically assigned after the configuration has finished. <coughs> All right, let's get going. Now, the first step is to configure and assign an IP address, a static IP address to this uh, server. And for that, we need to right click on the network connection icon, open network and internet settings, go to ethernet, change adapter options, and then right click on this icon and select properties. We are going to set up an IP version 4 for this machine. Select properties and then let's assign a slash 24 IP. I prefer to use the last IP address in the uh, um, network because it's uh, easier to remember. Now let's assign the IP address of the router or the default gateway. For DNS, I'm using this server as a DNS server, so it will be the same IP 192.168.10.254. And as an alternate DNS server, I'm going to use Google's DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 okay, let's click OK. Close. Now, let's start setting up the role, the DHCP role. DHCP is um, also known as Dynamic Host Co Configuration Protocol and is used to assign IP addresses to hosts in your network from this server. Okay, so let's open Server Manager. Select this button, Add Roles and Features. And now we have entered the wizard to start installing Select role-based or feature-based installation. Select your server from this pool, which is uh, the only server here. As you can see, the IP address has already been allocated. Now click Next. And now let's select the DHCP server. We are going to add all the required features. And click Next. Click Next again. If you want to add more feature to this server, you are free to do so, but for this uh, laboratory, this is enough. Let's click Next. Uh, here are some information regarding the uh, DHCP server. It's very important to uh, take a moment and read this because it's important. After you've read them, you can click Next. All right. We are going to check this box. To restart the destination server if required. And we're going to click install. I'm going to set the video on pause and come back after the installation has finished. All right, so the installation progress has completed. Now let's close this window and head over to tools, select DHCP. And from this window, let me just make it a little bit bigger, we're going to select our server, the IP version 4 option, right click on it and let's go to new scope. Now we're going to create our first scope. Basically we're going to tell the server which IPs we want to assign, if we want to create an exclu exclusion list because we might need uh, some printers in our network which will have static IPs and um, other devices which do not work properly with DHCP. So let's click Next. We're gonna give this scope a name. Let's say Apprentice um, Test IPs. Click Next. Here we are going to enter the range of IP addresses that uh, the scope distributes. Basically, the server will assign IP from this uh, IPs from this range. So it's like 192.168.10.2, uh, 
192.168 then that 230 okay and click next if you want to exclude something uh, you can do so here for example I want to exclude my router 192.168.2.1 uh, 192.168.2.1.10 sorry my mistake Actually, we need to assign this like this. All right, I forgot to include this address in the scope before. Okay, and let's click next now. Uh, for the list duration, I usually prefer the default uh, option for eight, hour, eight days. This means that uh, once the computer gets an IP address, it will uh, maintain this IP address for eight days. But if you want to be more strict about this, you can set, uh, um, I don't know, set it one day, two days, depending on your uh, topology, your network. And if you have more uh, mobile networks that consist of portable computers, then you should probably limit this to only one day, for example. Okay, let's click next. Uh, do you want to configure the DHCP options for this scope now? Yes, let's configure them. If you want to other the IP address of the router, okay, the IP address of the router is the one we mentioned before. Let's add it here. Okay, the parent domain is this one, and it shall remain the same. Now, uh, for DNS servers, we are going to use these two, the ones that we set up initially, and our server as the main one okay let's click next now um, if you want to set up a win server to convert the computer names to IP addresses you can do it by entering uh, the server name and the IP address here but for our uh, laboratory this is not needed at the moment okay uh, you can set up more than one scope so uh, you could activate it now or later I will activate it now okay and click next and let's finish and as you can see under IP version 4 we have the first scope created and we uh, are capable of seeing the address leases that are, have been made now to, to test if this works let's head over to the Windows 10 workstation here and set up the HCP let's see if this works okay as you can see this is already assigned if we click on CMD and check the IP config of this computer you can see that at the moment it does not have any IP address assigned okay and you may be wondering why this doesn't work at the moment well the reason is that when you create uh, virtual machines right you need to have them on the same virtual subnet so now as you can see I have under the settings of this virtual machine and under network adapter I'm going to select VMNet3 for both machines okay let's check this to VMNet3 and see if something happens alright so now that I have set up the same virtual network for both machines if I go to CMD right click run CMD and enter IP config and hit enter you will see that now this computer has assigned this IP version 4 address which is 192.168.10.2 with the default gateway 192.168.10.1 if you want to see a complete list a more extended list of this IP address you should uh, type in ipconfig slash all and here you will also be able to see the DNS servers which we have selected previously another method to see if uh, the address has been leased properly is to head over to the Windows Server machine and um, refresh 
right click on IP version 4 here, refresh this and head over to scope and click address leases. Now you will see that uh, this IP address 192.168.10.2 has been properly assigned and you will find uh, that the lease expires in 8 days from now. All right, so if this is helpful to you, please make sure to subscribe. And uh, in the next video, I will show you how to configure the Active Directory and create the first username. After uh, words, we will um, make uh, actually join a computer to the domain and try to make some new cool stuff. Thank you very much for attending this video.